Je, umeokoka na unajiuliza mbona mambo yako hayaendi vizuri? Mimi nilikuwa vile nilisema nilioleka, nikakaa kwa ndoa tuseme kukaribu miaka kumi, kabla kufanikiwa kupata mtoto. Je, umekuwa Daudi aliyekuwa karibu kuteleza kwa kuuliza mbona waovu waendelea vizuri? Nilijaribu nikatembea sikufanikiwa kabisa. Sasa after nilimeluso hapo hapo kwa muda kwa muda nikaongelesha mama. Mama akaniambia yes, ninasikia pasta. Bila umeambiwa hebu na wewe jaribu. Mama pia kanipa nguvu. Sikiliza. Katika safari ya Ukristo kuna maswala sita yanayozuia na kumkandamiza Mkristo kutofikia hatima na ufanisi wa maisha yake. Swala la kwanza ni dhambi. Pili kutotii. Tatu kutokuwa mwaminifu. Nne ni la kushangaza maana ni madhabau ya kuzimu. Tano ni kuchanjo kwenye mwili na sita laana za kiuko. Ndani yangu nikisema kweli penye nimekanyaga sitatoka bure. Nikawa na ila nikaamini nikaenda nayo. Sasa nilipoenda nayo kwa hakika ikumaliza miezi tatu. Niliona mkono wa Bwana. Huyu ndio kijana. Jumamosi hii ya tarehe 12 mwezi wa 11 ungana naye Pastor Murobe Pita wa kanisa la Gospel Embassy mjini Kisi anapotathmini swala la kuchanjwa kwa mwili na athari zake kwa maisha japo wengi wanalipuzi ya mbali swala hili na kitu kingine ambacho kinazuia baraka zenu ni vile vitu waganga walifanya kwa milioni huko sarau will kill the power tutabadilisha tuta hiyo sikiliza kuchanjwa kwako kulialika mapepo wakafanya kituo katika maisha yako wasija wakatoka kamwe au kujua kwamba waganga wako na impact kwa maisha ya watu wengi uko mbali na mganga uliokoka au mtaki tena lakini bora aliweka airport hapo watarudi lakini hapa kuna faraja maana mtumishi wa Mungu Pastor Murobe Pita atatumia mafuta yenye upaku wa kimbingu na kuondoa mapepo na kuvunja vunja ngome zote za muovu mimi nimeoleka saa hii miaka sita na nilikuwa na shida ya kupata mtoto sasa mimi saa hii Mungu alinisaidia niko na twins Hallelujah. Nenda maku. Wachawi wote hawana nguvu na nafasi dhidi ya wana wa mfalme. Naam, watangamia wote wala pahali pao hapa takumbukwa tena. Kutakuwa na ushindi mkuu dhidi ya michoro yote iliyowekwa mwilini mwako inayokuzuia kutofanikiwa katika maisha. Come here. Who are you? Hey. Hey. This time I'm the Lucifer. 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 Yeah. I set this woman free in Jesus name kutakuwa na kufunguliwa kwa tumbo zilizofungwa na wengi watapata mibaraka ya watoto 7 years sisi tulikuwa tunaomba Mungu na Mungu tulikuwa tunasema nyasae to mwana gakidali ndundo kotora to mwana and you know what Mungu unajua anasema nini amtaki mtoto mnataka watoto and that is what na shukuru sana kanisa na shukuru dad Kumbuka haya yote ni Jumamosi hii ya tarehe 12 katika kanisa la Gospel Embassy mjini Kisi na ibada hii inaoendeshwa na mtumishi wa Mungu Pastor Murobe Pita itapeperushwa katika runinga yetu ya Gospel Embassy. Wanawake wote waliofunga na wachawi kutoolewa watasimulia ushindi wa Yesu. Tunashukuru sana kwa sababu tulikuwa tume struggle for five years bila mtoto. Mungu anapokubariki na mtoto anakubariki pia na jinsi ya kumlea. There's nobody who is beyond what God can do. Hakuna mtu ameenda beyond. Uwezi ukasema ah mimi bwana hatafanya. That miracle will happen in Jesus name. I said that miracle. Unaona ule 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 ndugu ako pale na, na mke wake. Nili, nilikuwa, I was watching your crib yesterday. Vile bwana alikuwa anaongea hapa after seven years, si ndio? When God came to surprise them, wali, wali Yohana kwa miaka saba, wamekuwa hapa. 
Uyu, uyu, uyu um, uh, mtoto wamekuwa hapa. Sikujua bwana yake lakini I told that God will surprise you. Wakati Mungu aliwafist baada ya miaka saba. Ma, where are the twins? Wako huko chini. The twins are there. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe tena. Unajua Mungu akifanya maajabu unaona kani kama Afro cinema. <laughs> Ijakuwa safari raisi, imekuwa ngumu but nashukuru Mungu after 7 years ya kutusiwa hata unashindwa kuenda hata ushago but yote unafumilia. Kumile wakati umuona maneno imechacho umetusiwa ndio kumbe Mungu anafungua baraka. Kitu ingine daddy na umekuja confirm kwamba actually uniniambia siku ya ku conceive because you came into my dream kaniambia ti April 28 you will shall conceive and then nikasikia kitu ikimove so tare sijui but april it's when i reconceived waje huyu mzee atsalimie maana tumedevea na yeye safari paka paka matanet god is good god is good i'm a, a very happy man standing here <laughs> a very happy man hiyo mambo ukisikia kwamba unaogopa kwenda ushao just because you are siblings wale wadogo wako na watoto eh unaona <laughs> and you are a firstborn but no child <laughs> Seven years sisi tulikuwa tunaomba mungu eh na mungu tulikuwa tunasema nyasae to mwana kakitali ndulo kochora to mwana and you know what <laughs> mungu unajua alisema nini amtaki mtoto mnataka watoto and that is what it <laughs> <laughs> Na shukuru sana kanisa na shukuru dadi. Amen. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. Uh, God gave you uh, and uh, but is huyu anakufanana zaidi. Even there is another young girl whose husband comes here on Saturday. She is a, a daughter to my bro- my elder brother, the young one. The devil was stopping her from conceiving. Wakakaa kuandoa kwa miaka mitano. So one time nikauliza na mimi ndio pastor wa hii na huyu ni msichana wangu mimi ndio nimemlea. Watu watasemaje? Eh? Ati amekataa hata kushika mimba. Nika nikakuwa serious nikauliza pepo wewe ni pepo gani? Ikaniambia sisi tulitumwa hapa tuzuie. Huyu hata za nikawaambia toka mara moja. She is now in her second child. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Mungu yuko bana. Na hata kama unafikiri Mungu ayuko juu ayuko hapa. It will happen. So ne- next week on, on 12th we are praying for watu wote wanategemea Mungu kwa kupata watoto na wamekuwa wakitafuta mahali wataombewa itakuwa ni hapa na watapata. Wale wanataka ndoa wafanye nini? Wache hata kama ni miaka 70 let them come. Kwani iko shida gani kujaribu?